Welcome to our series of videos taking a look at the dashboard inside Plotter. And in this video, we're going to take an overview of the dashboard and some of the features that it offers. The dashboard is the starting place every time you open the software. As you can see, along the left-hand side, we have some different tabs and options. In the Accounts section, we can see different information regarding our license, update, and change logs. In the Files section, we have the option to start or open projects in Plotter. The Backup tab shows some of your automatically saved backups. Settings gives you additional options for how to use the software including automatically saved backups, updating the software automatically, changing to light or dark appearance. Right now I'm in light mode and I'll continue to use that throughout the demonstration. But there's also an option for dark, or you can choose system, which will mimic the settings of your computer. You can choose language. And now available is autosave. So you can choose that by default, the program will autosave your projects. And you can see how long it will keep the backups. And the location for where the backups are stored. Finally, in the help tab, there are links to many helpful resources that are always available through the dashboard. We have tutorials for walkthroughs and the most updated information on Plotter. FAQs or frequently asked questions compiled from all the wonderful writers and users of Plotter. Demos for demonstrations of how to use Plotter. Our documentation and you can give the developers feedback, join our Facebook group, or request a feature that you'd like to see in Plotter. And be sure to check the roadmap for all our currently planned features and vote on which you'd like to see next in Plotter. You can also create an error report or send a ticket to our support department if you have any other questions. Finally, one of the last features I want to show you on the dashboard is the bell icon in the top right corner. When you click on it, it will give you news, updates, and information about what's going on here at Plotter. You can watch videos, react, or send feedback. You can also share the video on any of your favorite social networks or copy the link. In future videos, we'll go into how to open or start a project in Plotter. But that covers our brief introduction to the dashboard. If you found this video useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel for all our latest news, information, and updates. And I'll see you in the next video.